Well, 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 look what we have here. Privateer FX is back after a two day hiatus. Good morning, fans. Privateer FX. We'll get right into it today. An hour before the European Open. Let's see what we think is going to happen today. Um, risk on overnight. Aussie squeezing higher from uh, that 70 70 level. Now 71.04. Yesterday, RBA, dovish. We do not think this is going to make a new high above 71.31. So therefore, the closer we get to that, the better the risk reward for sales. So we're fading this Aussie, core short Aussie, as well as core short Kiwi, which is also squeezing. Uh, these are our two main horses today. Don't think Kiwi's going to make a new high above the figure. We talked about that 95 figure range uh, yesterday on Twitter. I was just um, talking around with some guys and also skiing with a couple of guys from the market. Uh, and this looks pretty solid. This top is going to be a big band of sellers sort of figure all the way up to 35. I don't think that's going to break, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say I don't think it's going to break the figure. Core short Aussie and Kiwi today. Squeeze is on elsewhere. Uh, equities, 28.82 the high. We're within spitting distance of the all-time high. 2,900 is going to be tough on evaluation. Uh, if you do EPS at 183, we're talking about 16 and a half, 17 times earnings at 2,900. Uh, we obviously, as I've mentioned a million times, have downside structures for June. We did sell the 2,700 puts against them in a real conservative move. That's looking smarter and smarter every day. I'll tell you what, though, when this does turn, it's going to look very stupid if I'm not careful with that. Um, so you got to watch that. And again, I touched on it before. For anyone who's new to trading, don't sell options. Uh, just stay away from that, that strategy. It is rather complicated, even uh, for those of us who have been trading for, for over 25 years. Uh, so where are we? We're 20, 2880. Um, this is a fade today. Let's let's call the range. Um, Seventy-two eighty-eight is what we think the range is going to be, and so we're going to sell smalls up at eighty-eight today, and just trade it, trade it for pips on a day trade. So we're going to fade this sort of exaggeration uh, on a day trade basis. Euro yen squeezing a bit here. Got through these 03 highs, traded up to 20, squeezed a lot of guys out. This is tricky, right? Uh, Boons have turned a bit. They're down uh, 165.60, or 165.70, excuse me. Um, if you're going to trade Euro Yen today, obviously it's going to be driven by the services PMI. We have Italian services PMI, we have Spanish, Italian, French, and German, and then of course the final. So it begins at 9.15, um, watch the PMI, watch Boons. Boons back above 166, you sell Euro Yen. Boons below 166, you play the squeeze. Um, we're not really too interested in playing the squeeze, so we're patiently waiting for places to sell. The most conservative sale today will be up at 125.71. Uh, that's Euro Yen. Euro Dollar also... Printed a range low and very, very near this uh, 111.77 low. Nice little tail there. Looks like a turn. But again, this uh, is going to be data driven. So we have two big pieces of data today. We'll, we'll, in aggregate, we'll call it the European Services PMI. Um, and then we have non, and we have US Services PMI, the non manufacturing, they call it. We also have ADP and retail sales out of Europe, um, but it's these PMIs that are that are that need to be watched. So, if the U.S. does well, Europe does badly, Euro is going to turn, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So we're really 
data dependent uh, for direction at this moment. We're certainly not comfortable being long euro, but you could make the case either way. If you want to be long euro, your case is basically the market is short, they're going to get squeezed. If you want to be short euro, your case is basically Europe is fucked, um, period. So, tricky. Uh, we don't have a dog in this fight, we're just kind of watching. We will play around now through these lows because there's just be a cacophony of stops between, let's say, 75 and 55. The year's lows, if you, if you just move back, all the big CTA hedge funds um, are going to have to trade this. So I'm not saying it's going to go 400 points, but I am saying uh, there will be some action down there and there will be some money to be made. Uh, core short bonds still paying. Uh, we lost our our shorts yesterday. We got paid at uh, 20. We bought 07s. And then we were offering 20s again, but um, did not get paid. So we lost this sort of strategic short. But we do like core short. 148.20s it looks like too far today because that's yesterday's high. But... Uh, certainly the long bond looks quite exaggerated, but will also be data dependent, right? If ISM is a disaster, um, bonds will, will screw higher. So I guess the main theme today is watch the economic releases. Um, we know what the positioning is, um, and we know the macro story, which is Europe is fucked, global growth is fucked. Right now, that story is getting squeezed. Equities up at 28.80, crude 62.80. Um, Euro has turned a little bit, but still, I mean, if you take a step back, it's still in the bottom of the range. Um, waiting on the data. So, uh, besides that, obviously, we talked about it. Uh, we, we like this core short Aussie and Kiwi, and this is basically sort of a central bank play. Um, and U.S. strength play. Anyway, I'll leave it with that. Uh, sorry I missed you guys the first part of the week. Uh, regardless, make some money today, uh, and I will see you tomorrow.